So everything we've looked at for Python lists so far has been with numbers. There's no need to restrict to numbers. We could also use any data type in Python, for example, strings. So r equals hi there. So now r consists of strings. And it doesn't just have to be of one data type either. We can have mixed data types. Let's say r equals hi to there three. And we could also append a floating point number. So lists uh, do not have to be homogeneous, and we can iterate over them and print their contents. So let's say for element in R, print element. And you can see that each element is printed. Another nice feature of lists is that they can be nested. So we can append, say, another list, 2, 4, 6, 8. So now a list is an element of R. And if we do the len function, we get 6. So you note that the list elements in the last element of R are not counted separately. They're counted as one element in the list. We could also do len of R negative 1, which gives us the length of that list, 4.